We're here with five star 2022 defensive end Travis Shaw out of Grimsley High School down here in North Carolina. Travis, I mean, you guys are three and all on the season. You had two two better games to start out, and then tonight was a little bit of an easier game for our opponent on you. But how do you get better each and every week, especially when you have opponents like you had tonight? You know, uh, it all comes with preparation Monday through Thursday. Well, this week, Monday through Wednesday, you know. Uh, we got a great coaching staff. You know, they teach us the right things. They teach us what to say, what to do. Uh, so, you know, just Monday through Thursday on the drawing board, you know, once you execute what them coaches are doing, they watch the film all week, over the weekend, early mornings, late nights. So, you know, just listening to them guys, they know what they're talking about, they know what they're doing, and if they're giving us the job, we come out here and execute, we're gonna be we're gonna be well. How did you take it when you actually got when you guys got word that you were gonna be able to have a spring season down here in North Carolina and just get the chance to compete for not only your school but also eventually stay title here at Grimsley? Uh you know, uh, it was really heartbroken. Uh, you know, but as you can see, we're here now, so it ain't no turning back. But when I got the news, it was it wasn't so much I was worried about it. It was so much I was worried about for my seniors, you know. For my seniors, I thought it was I thought they weren't gonna have another chance to come out here and showcase and you know showcase their talent and show what Coach Brown and those guys has put in the program for the last four years for those guys. So it was really just heartbreaking for me to hear it for those senior guys and I cause I didn't think they was gonna get another opportunity to come out here and play the sport that they love. You're a junior right now, obviously, but you you keep talking about the seniors. Because when it comes down to Grimsley, you're one of the vocal leaders and you're one of the guys everybody looks to down here. How do you sort of handle that being the guy that everybody looks to and wants to be like coming out of the Grimsley program? Well, you know, Coach Brown, you know, he does a great job, you know. Uh, so it's those me. seniors, those seniors, you know, they they lead the way. They've been here for four years. I've been here for three. So at the end of the day, everybody listen to me. But at the end of the day, I listen to them, too. So those senior guys on the, on the, on the defensive side, you know, the ball, they, you know, they tell me what to do. I listen to them. I tell them what to do. They listen to them. And that's, I think that's why we got so good because everybody listened to it. Everybody buy into what each other got going on. Outside of trying to have success for your seniors and everything, what is it that you're trying to work out on as a junior during these handful of games that you do get? You know, uh, you know, just work on the little things that I got to get better at, you know. Uh, watch more film, you know. In uh, games like this, you know, just practice just practice on, on, on what needs to be done, what needs to be better at, you know. So whether that's getting out the ball, whether that's staying low, whether that's my stands, whether that's my stamina, you know. It, it just, look, just the little things, you know. Just focus on the little things in these type of games, you know, and just try to get better on the drawing board Monday. You keep mentioning the drawing board, you keep mentioning your coach and everything. A lot of guys are very good football players, but they don't necessarily understand all the intricacies of their position and what they play. I, just watching you on the sideline, watching you with your coaches, that's something I think you take a lot of pride in. And why is that? And how have you gotten to the point where you are when you it know, comes to football knowledge? You know, er everything that I got right now could be taken from me in the blink of a snap. You know, uh, what was it? Um, uh, like three days ago on this year, you know, I think everything stopped. So, you know, like I said, everything could be taken away from you just like that. The way, as soon as you can get it, the, uh, as soon as it can leave, you know, Coach Brown preaches that to me almost every day at practice. So, uh, it, all, the night, all that name and stuff, they come with it. But, you know, you got to suit up. You got to suit up every night. You got to put on the pads just like the other people do. So, I mean, that name that name don't make nothing for yourself. You're not making nothing for yourself either. So, you got to go out there and make a name for yourself. One thing that has been taken from you is the opportunity to go on visits and get on college campuses. How do you manage that as a player in your position where everybody's calling you, everybody wants you? How do you manage not being able to get on campus and just sort of understanding your recruitment and understanding who's being honest with you and who's being just trying to get get you to play at their college? You know, I take that, you know, since we can't get on campus and stuff, you know, I take it as, you know, uh, just another just another opportunity, you know. Uh, so now with the coaches that's where I can't get on campus, but now you're the coaches that's, you know, keeping in contact with me, you know, trying to get on Zoom calls, stuff like that. Um, that's the ones that's the ones where you can see me at. That's the ones where I, I know they, they believe in me, you know, stuff like that. They want me to really play for them and not just calling me just because the name I made, I've made for myself. You mentioned, you mentioned right there that you, um, you mentioned about getting on the board and everything. And I imagine one coach that has gotten on the board with you and talked about everything is Coach Larry Johnson up at Ohio State. He's got a wealth of defensive line knowledge. He's been somebody that you've been able to talk to and just gain some different perspectives and moves and maybe even techniques from. Uh, most definitely, you know, uh, he's done a great. Uh, I ain't gonna say it. I'm watch my language. But he's done a great job, you know, um, for, the, for the past, over the past few years, you know. Um, I think he always had a, you know, high draft class, you know, uh, with Chase Young last year. He had Chase Young last year, and he was a heck of a player. So, you know, he knows what he's doing, and he has all the tools, he has everything he needs. He's definitely on the way. Ohio State's in your top 13. How do you sort of, how did you get to that 13, and what's sort of the next step for you going on, hopefully getting visits when, at the end of the May and everything? Uh, I got to the top 13. I felt like those was the ones where I could see myself playing at the most, fitting in their type of uh, defense scheme, you know. Uh, but those were the guys that's, you know, constantly on me, constantly not letting me breathe. So um, they, I matched their energy, they matched my energy. So, you know, those were the guys I felt like where I could see myself playing at. 
One guy that I know you're super close with when it comes to the state of North Carolina is Jalen Walker, another top Ohio State target. How, is how much of a th how much do you guys talk about possibly being like a package deal and playing together at the next level? Uh, she's we talk about that all the time, you know. Because uh, I said it before, I like playing with dogs. So if, if your whole team of dogs, like tonight, we got some dogs, so it ain't nowhere you can run from us. So, you know, Jalen Walker, he's a dog himself. You know, um, he just had an injury with his finger, you know, but I, that's not stopping him because he's a dog. So, you know, playing with those type of dogs, you know, um, it just, you feel me? It, it makes your job easier playing with different type of dogs, you know. Getting up to Columbus and getting to visit is something that he's talked about. It When it comes to that, are you going to try and get up there and go with them when it comes to checking out Ohio State? Yeah, I got to go check out Coach Day, Coach Larry Johnson, you know. Uh, like I said, they some real good coaches, you know. They got they got their program rolling. Um, so I definitely got to come back up there. We'll move on from the recruitment. We'll go to the report and stuff. Your basketball career, obviously. You tweet about all the basketball highlights. Tonight, but I asked Jalen today, I said, Jalen, who's the better basketball player? And Jalen said, it's obviously me. You can tell Travis that. Who is the better basketball player between you and Jalen? You can check the stats so now. Jalen just jumps out the gym. Hey, Jalen can't guard me. Jalen, he, listen, I'm the better basketball player. I'm the better, I'm the best duo athlete sport over 300 pounds. Put it like that. How much do you think that being a basketball player and just having that agility, that footwork helped you get to the point where you are right now? I mean, man, it's, it's helped a lot. You know, basketball, uh, Basketball is it, it, it's, it's serious with injuries, you know, with a roll ankle quickly, just like that. But at the same time, what a lot of people don't get is they help you out with your footwork, you know. Uh, being, being on the block, you know, uh, just ha make sure your footwork is right on the block. Definitely helps me out when I get on the D-line. Two last questions here. What, what Going forward the rest of the season and going into your senior year, what are the things you're looking forward to improve on before you get to college in your own game? Uh, being a better teammate. Uh, I'm not the worst teammate, but I, I can say I'm not the best teammate. So just being a better teammate, being a better leader, you know, for those younger guys that's around me, that's going that's gonna carry the program on when it's daytime. So, just being a better leader, um, uh, keep working on what I got to work on. Don't get distracted by everything that's going on with the Twitter and everything like that. You know, so just really just maintaining my spot, maintaining my position, and just trying to get better each and every day. When it comes to your recruitment timeline, what's what's sort of next for you, and what when it comes down to actually making a decision, what do you think is going to be the most important factors when it comes to choosing a college? Uh, the most important factor when I choose my college is you know where I feel like home is, where I get treated like home, you know, um, a program that's, has, that's on the right page, you know, um, and last but not least, uh, where I can play with some dogs at. So where I'm surrounded by some dogs at, that's where you're going to see me at because I'm a dog. Think Ohio State could be that place? Most definitely. Ohio State has dogs. Thanks, Travis.